Okay, today we are going to work on um, creating some engravings for um, a popular silicone watch band. It might be a fruit. So let me start with, we're gonna do this really adorable little bee. I'm gonna go over here to my grid tool after I have selected the bee or create an array. I just call it the grid. And then we're gonna just start throwing some bees out in some rows. You'll see that as I go up, it is alternating. That's because I have this shift by half turned on. If I want every other row, the bees to be facing the other direction, then I turn on this other one um, to mirror alternate rows. And then it's a really cute little pattern there. Um, but we're just going to make this way bigger than it needs to be. Um, just because sometimes that's easier. It's, it's hard sometimes to go back and just add an extra row and get everything spaced correctly. Um, as you can see, I, I played with this earlier with, with spacing and stuff. Um, but you can go in and if you want the bees further apart, um, horizontally or vertically, you can change that here. Um, with this spacing and I will leave it so that they are both set to one millimeter apart um, just to keep it equal. So now that I have all the bees, I'm going to zoom out so I can eventually see all of the bees. And we're going to go ahead and just group them and then I'm going to rotate it by pressing the period uh, button on my keyboard. Um, and that rotates it. Um, here is the, the watch band. Down here below is the jig that I have inside of the laser. And I have this designed for um, two different sized um, watch bands. Um, one that is what the men folk in my house wear and then one that is sized for, for mine. So we're gonna do this in two sections because I don't want all the bees facing one direction. I want them all facing towards um, the watch face that's gonna be here in the center. So we're gonna have to do this twice. So I'm going to duplicate my pattern by clicking Control D or Command D on my keyboard, depending upon what computer you're using. And then um, same thing uh, for these pieces of the watch band, I am also going to duplicate those um, because here in a minute, what I do makes them disappear. So it's just helpful if I already, I start with everything already duplicated. So I'm going to position this, let me see which way the bees are going. We need to move over to this one. And we are going to slide this kind of where I think it's going to look good um, to see the portions of the bees that I want. I want it a little bit more centered. So we'll move it like that. So I still have this pattern selected. I'm going to hold shift and also select um, one of these layers of the watch band. Now that I have two things selected, my Boolean tools, um, Boolean weld, all of these tools light up. I'm gonna select this bottom one because I just want the pattern inside of the frame of the watch band. And now I have a single layer um, on the outside here um, of the watch band um, with the nice B pattern on the inside. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna grab this other B pattern. I am going to hit the period and 
rotate it so that the bees are facing the right direction. And actually, I'm going to show you guys what you do if you don't have two of these here. So I'm going to delete one of them just so you can see um, so that you don't freak out. Now you'll have seen it for yourself. <laughs> zoom in a little bit more and just like before we're just going to kind of place everything where we think it's going to look good nice. we're going to select the outside of the wash band sorry if you can hear my spy on the wall telling me to turn off my air compressor and now the boolean tool um, is active again so i'm going to go ahead and select that remember i took away this duplicate line, so it's just this singular out, outside line now. And you see it just disappears. But I actually want that to make sure that I can put it down in my jig and in my template later. So I'm just gonna go back, select that outside line again, Command D to duplicate, select my pattern with this, um, particular function that I'm doing, it doesn't matter which you select first, it's always going to respond the same with the with the Boolean tool. Some of these tools over here, it does matter which you select first. This one, it doesn't. Select that, and because I duplicated it, I'm left with that outer line with my nice B pattern on the inside. And then when we're ready to engrave it, we will select all of this and just pop it in place and then we'll move over to the to the laser to do the rest of it hope it helped <laughs>